Hey guys, OG Albina here, bringing you guys our BBR Season 2 Week 2 Battle against Magnitude and his Milwaukee Sauce Bucks. Now, this is a really cool game. I'm really excited to play this one. We get to go against the creator of the format himself, so this is really cool. I'm super juiced, and I'm really looking to bounce back. Um, if you haven't seen our Week 1 game, I guess kind of spoilers, because I kind of implied it in that last sentence, but we unfortunately did end up losing to Seabad. He brought a really cool team with like Power Herb, Dig, Jolteon, which really caught me off the back foot. He played very aggressively and he really got us last week. So I'm really hoping to bounce back, play a lot more aggressive, and hopefully pick up a win uh, week two and kind of go forward, um, you know, winning some games after that. But we do have a very tough matchup, which we'll get into real quick here in a second. I do want to do team builder just so you can see what we're bringing, why we're bringing it, so you have that background knowledge going into the battle um, and all that good stuff. So yeah, with that being said, our team, if you did forget, consists of Zarud, Pelipper, Kingdra, Reuniclus, Silvali, Dublade, Toxicroak, Sinchino, Stunfisk, and Clefairy. We did have a couple free agent trades go into effect this week. We dropped Togenomaru and Dusclops and Alcremi for... Clefairy, Sunfish, and Duplay, which is obviously nice, and two of those guys are coming this week, so that's obviously super cool. Uh, already getting to put in some new work with uh, the new teammates and stuff like that. But our opponent's team consists of Dragapult, Barathorn, Lucario, Sylveon, Quagsire, Zatu, Zorark, Charizard, Flaydol, and Manetric. Now, very, very scary team, especially versus us in particular. First off, Dragapult rips us a new one. Uh -huh. We do not have much for Specs Dragapult, so I'm very, 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 very much so expecting that to come. Right now, our uh, ghost immunity is a Sinchino, and that is not a good time. So we're going to have to be very careful on that. We do have some counterplay, but it's very iffy counterplay at the very least. So we're going to have to play very smart around that thing. Next biggest threat, Lucario. Um, SD or Nasty Block is crazy versus us. It does phenomenal versus us. So we're going to have to be very, very smart around how we play around that. Um, personally, I think that Swords Dance is going to come just because its priority versus me is a little bit better. Um, and we have ways of revenging it otherwise if it doesn't have good priority options. But... Regardless, it should be fine. Um, I think we do have some good counterplay, and we never really let it set up for free on this team, which I think is very, very important when you're playing with Lucario. And uh, other than that, Zor can be a big threat, uh, whether it be Nasty Plot or Scarf or even like an E Belt set. It was very, very well versus us. Um, knockoff can be very annoying because our main switch into it does not want to be knocked off, which is very, very unfortunate. Barathorn is very annoying because I don't want to be hazard stacks. I did not bring any removal this week on this iteration of the team. I went through like three iterations of this team. And uh, before he settled down on it, and this one doesn't have any removal, so I have to be careful. Sylveon's very annoying for our team to break through, um, because there's some things on our team that really appreciate Sylveon being gone, but regardless, we should be fine. Now, I'll go into this team builder, prefacing, we did not bring rain this week. Pelper had a great matchup. Pelper was actually phenomenal offensively in the first two iterations of the team, like I said, that I built before. Uh, the first one I had Specs Pelipper, the second one I had a Life Orb one, and it went dummy. It went crazy this game. My opponent does not have a good switch into its dual stabs at all, especially if it's on offensive. Um, however, Kingdra has an awful matchup. When you have Ferrothorn, Sylveon, Quagsire on the same team, it does not do very well, especially that Ferrothorn. <laughs> not a good time for us. So, unfortunately, we're leaving Kingdra on the bench this week, which takes away a big fast of our team. Uh, you know, one of our main ways of revenging, uh, you know, a Dragapult or a potential Lucario with, like, bullet punches as a priority or something like that. Not looking too hot in that regard, but it's all good. I think we do have a pretty cool team, uh, and let's jump into it. So, first off, we have Zarud rocking out the Life Orb, Leaf Guard, Ability, Darkest Lariat, Power Whip, Drain Punch, and Bulk Up. EV spread is very, very simple, and if you know me, you know how much this pains me, but we are rocking out with Max Max. Max Attack, Max Speed. Jolly Nature, we got 4 HP just to, uh, you know, give us that odd number of HP in our set. Um, the reason we're Max Max, so originally I was a uh, leftover set here on Zarud. Just because we were bulking up and we were pretty bulky on the set too, I had, uh, you know, some a lot of EVs and Spadef and stuff like that just to take on some special hits a little bit better. However, um, after doing some calcs and doing some mods and things like that, I wasn't really getting the damage I needed on Sylveon, especially if this death Sylveon. But with a Life Orb at plus one, we can lure in that Sylveon because it knows it can take a hit from us usually. But at plus one with the bulk up, we actually always knock that thing out after it rocks. So I think that was a very, very important count to hit. And this thing is a great break in this game. I don't need to win. I need it to punch a giant freaking hole in my opponent. It can win, provided we get rid of a Dragon Bolt and the uh, Lucario doesn't have Vacuum Wave or we're not in range of it or something like that. This thing can 150% win, but that's not what it's here to do. It's here to break in my opponent. They do not have a switch into stabs for Strength Punch whatsoever, especially if we get a bulk up off. So I'm hoping this thing puts on a mensch offensive pressure and really, really, uh, you know, puts the hurt down on my opponent. Next up, we have our Savali Normal, rocking out with the Assault Vest. RKS system is the ability of multi-attack, 
Brunt, Fire Fang, and U-Turn. EVs wise, we are rocking out with 92 attack, 228 speed death, and 188 speed with a jolly nature. Now speed, we are creeping a Lucario, creeping our base 85s, being our Kingdra and our Toxic Coat. I want to be able to outspeed that, but I also don't think it'll run max speed, so I think that's very nice to hit. Well, we obviously can do a lot of damage that thing with the Fire Fang. Um, the Spadef investment, what that allows us to do is it allows us to take two modest Spex Dracos back to back. Brocks aren't up, we can live a Spex Draco into a minus two Spex Draco guaranteed with this thing. So I think that's very, very important uh, for our Savali. And the attack left over actually gives us enough to two hit KO a non Spadef Sylveon after stealth offers. I think it's very nice. The thing is here, literally just to stop Spex Dragapult, which I think is a very, 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 very likely bring versus to stop it from clicking Shadow Vault for free versus our team. I think that's very, very important to kind of slow that thing down and make it force it into a U-turn uh, while we have rocks up. Because if we can slowly chip it down the range of our priority, that's how we're going to deal with Dragon Ball this week. And uh, Silvali is here to kind of help, you know, force that to happen, which I think is very, very important. So that's going to be Silvali this week. Next up, we got Dublade. We're rocking out with the Evia Light, No Guard Ability, Iron Head, Shadow Snake, Close Combat, and Toxic. EVs wise, we got 244 HP, 108 attack, 44 defense, 76 for death, and 36, excuse me, 36 speed with an adamant nature. Now this thing is here to check a Swords Dance Lucario. Swords Dance Lucario goes dummy on us. It does so, so well, but this does check it phenomenally. A plus two life or crush does not ever, 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 ever knock us out after rocks, which is very nice. Um, Iron Head also gives us a great way of breaking through Sylveon. This is a great Sylveon pivot, depending on the set. It's not very invested. We can take it on decently, because Iron Head's going to do a ton to that thing. Close Combat hits his double steal, and then Shadow Sneak is great for Dragon Ball. It's one of our forms of priority that I was talking about earlier, to potentially chip drag it into range of with rocks and forcing it to U-turn around with between the um, defensive core of our Silvali and our Clefairy, which are here to pretty much slow that thing down. So that's obviously super, super nice for us. Next up, we got Toxic Croak. I got out the Life Orb, Dry Skin is its ability, Poison Jab, Sucker Punch, Focus Blast, and Vacuum Wave. Now, EVs wise, we're rocking out with um, 124 attack, 236 special attack, and 148 speed with a Naughty Nature, which is plus attack minus special defense. For those of you who don't know, um, this thing's job is to ball break. My opponent does not have switches to dual stabs besides Claydol, and I think I have a freaking ton for Claydol. So I don't think it comes. Um, if it does, then we'll have to play around it, but I think a lot of the members of my team really exploit clay doll, so I'm completely fine with it coming, and I can play aggressively around that. Other than that, everything on my opponent's team gets 2-8 KO by a coverage move. Focus Blast, 2-8 KO, Spadef, Flag, Zyre with the Life Orb. Uh, Life Orb Poison Jab obviously does a ridiculous amount to Sylveon. Uh, Vacuum Wave and Focus Blast, Nuke, Lucario, same thing with Ferrothorn. Sucker Punch is only for the Dragon Ball. If we can get the Dragapult to around 50-60%, we can knock it out with a Life Orb Sucker Punch. I believe that's where the Calc is. Uh, Poison Jab's not going to feel pretty on Zatu or, you know, Charizard or Magic or anything like that. This thing is a phenomenal wall breaker this game. And this job is, much like Zerud, to really punch a giant freaking hole in my opponent's team. No setup needed. We're here to do some damage with Toxic Pro, which I think is really, really nice for us. And yeah, that's going to be Big John Jr. here. Next up, we have Clefairy. We're rock rocking out with the Eviolite. Magic Guard is its ability. Moonblast, Soft World, Stealth Rock, and Flamethrower. EVs wise, we got 220 HP, 172 defense, 36 special attacks, 76 for death, and 4 speed with a calm nature. Now, this thing is literally just here to check Dragon Ball. It's just here to check up, check Dragapult and potentially get up Stealth Rocks. Oh, well, it's here to check Zorark as well, but if it's a physical Zorark or it has knockoff in any capacity, we're not a great Zorark check because it does get access to Sludge Bomb, which can be a little bit annoying. But uh, we can take on um, Specs Dragapult variants. We're not too hit KO'd by Shadow Ball, modest Specs Shadow Ball, which is obviously really nice because we aren't taking the Rock Ships, so we don't have to worry about that. But if we take like any chip damage prior, we are too hit KO'd by Specs Shadow Ball, and that's why I wanted to volley normal to you know deter that thing from clicking it all the time. In between Clefairy and Savali Normal, I hope that's enough for Dragon Ball. Man, that thing's good versus us. So we're going to have to be careful. Uh, DD could be a really slept on set versus us this week. So we're going to have to be very, 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 very careful. Um, And yeah, this thing's just here to get a Brock's Trek Dragon Ball and uh, you know, hopefully get that chip damage we need on Dragon for our priority to finish it off later with the rocks. Next up, and lastly, we got Hard Body the Reunion Plus for rocking out the Life Orb. Magic Guard is its ability... Psychic, Focus Blast, Shadow Ball, and Trick Room. EVs wise, we got max HP, max special attack, and four defense. Uh, with a quiet nature, I need to regen that actually, because I'm not quiet, and I want to be guaranteed slower than Ferrothorn. 
That's not very smart of me. But this thing is a phenomenal wall breaker. It's a phenomenal end game win con. That's kind of what we're going to be setting up for. If we can get chip on things, um, a physically defensive Sylveon is to a kill by Psychic. And I wanted Psychic over Psyshock for a Quagsire. I felt like it would just cover more overall on my opponent's team. Though we might miss out on the Psyshock being a little bit better here. I think it'll be fine. Focus Blast Shadow Ball hits the rest of my opponent's team immensely hard. So we're going to have to be very smart about how we set this thing up. But I think if we do, we can either really break through my opponent's team if we predict correctly and, uh, you know, click the right moves. Or we can uh, obviously put ourselves in a phenomenal position. But yeah, that's going to be the team. I'll be right back with the match. Alright guys, here we are with the battle. We are connected with Steve. Let's go ahead and start up, see exactly what he wanted to bring as we're connecting and all that good stuff. Looks like he went with, ah, all the scary things. Uh, Draga, no, uh, we're not even going to type it out right now. Draga, Quag, Sylveon, Lucario, Pharaoh, and Zoro. I think by far my best lead right here is going to be our um, Solvali because we can pretty much U-turn or put some good offensive pressure on literally everything on his team. It covers a Zoroark lead and it covers, um, you know, being disguised as anything. It covers a potential, um, what do you call it, Dragapult lead as well. as well. We can get a slow U-turn on out of there, which is obviously super clutch. And yeah, let's see what we can do. Good luck, have fun to Steve. Hopefully we can uh, bounce back after last week. Make sure my calcs are in. Awesome, awesome. Um, hmm. I'm really concerned about a Lucario lead, so I don't deal very well with it. Um, it can actually be very, very scary versus me, especially if it's Nasty Plot, because I'm 150% more so prepped for, um, what do you call it? Sword Stance, just because I don't have great Nasty Plot answers on my team in general. I need to get chip and put them range back anyway, basically. Uh, but yeah, let's see. So, he is going to lead off with Ferrothorn. Now, is it worth... I think it's worth staying in and going for the U-turn, opposed to we're going for a Fire Fang, just because we can potential catch a potential Zorark or something like that as well. I'd be in a pretty decent spot. So, we're going to U-turn. There's definitely not a Zorark. Um, Iron Bar is going to pop off. Do we see a Rocky Helmet? We do see a Rocky Helmet. That's unfortunate, so we got to keep that in mind. Uh, we're not going to be able to U-turn as freely as we wanted to in this matchup. What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go hard Toxic Croak. The Toxic Croak should put on a lot of pressure right here. Should put on a lot of pressure. So rocks are going to go up. That is unfortunate. Um, I do need to get up mine because I think they're very important for shipping down the drag hole uh, in the range of our priority. And what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to click Bogus Blast. Hmm. And we'll see what we can do from here. We are in a tough spot, but not the worst spot. Hmm. He could go hard Dragapult, which would be incredibly aggressive. Other than that, he does not have a good switch in the Focus Blast. I mean, he could also fear us to be physical and go into his um, Quagsire, but we do to it KO Quagsire, even if it is specially defensive. Guaranteed. Um, as he is going to stay in, this should knock it out. Clutch. Okay, so we don't have to deal with Ferrothorn. That's awesome. Down it goes. Okay, very, very clean. If they go into uh, Quag, I think I'm just going to go hard Clef. Be in a pretty good spot from there. And yeah, we'll see what we can do. We do need to keep Croak around, though. It's, it's very, very important with the dual priority in this game because our team is so slow versus our opponent. Um, I'm expecting the Dragapult, honestly. Like, I'm very much so expecting the Dragapult. Quagsire, okay. That's fine. I do have a pretty free Clefairy right here. And I really want to get up my rocks. Uh, unless they call an aggressive double. Should be in a pretty good spot. Uh, this also covers it being Zoroark as well. Though we don't want to be knocked off or anything like that. Um, obviously, we'll be in an extra sensory. This is definitely a Zoroark. So we're definitely not going to stay in and take that damage. Uh, what I'm going to do is just get on my rocks. I think rocks are very, 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 very important in this matchup. So we know the Quagsire is Zorark as of right now. Well, as Quag picked up a new move here in the DLC that I did not know about. So Quag is going to be switched out, obviously, um, into Lucario. Now this is very scary. 
do think we need to go hard to blade on this guy. Nasty plot. I want to see. It's carrying dark pulse. God, that does so much damage. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go hard do blade. I have to. Um, after rocks, it does not kill us if he's life orb dark pulse. Uh, modest life orb dark pulse. But he's not life orb and he's not modest. Plus, he still knocks us out with the dark pulse. So that's not fun. Uh, so let's hope he's not dark pulse. Uh, nasty plot. <laughs> Flash cannon. That's not good. That is life orb, I feel. It's not. So he's not life orb. Okay, so from 115, how much does Dark Pulse do? Does not kill us. I could be very, very aggressive and um, call the switch into Quagsire, but I don't think I'm in a position to be able to make that play. I really don't think I'm in a position to be able to make that play. So we're not. <laughs> not at all. And we'll see what we can do. He's going to go for Nasty Plot. Is he Choppel? Ghost Combat should do a lot to this thing. He is Choppel. Okay. Okay, that does a ton. And we cannot knock him out with a Shadow Snake. However, I think at plus two, we should be able to live the hit. Hmm. With, um... So we are going to go for a Shadow Snake, obviously. We dope if this knocked it out, but I don't think it will. Unfortunately, it does not. Shadow Ball, so not even Dark Balls. Okay. Very interesting. We are going to drop. Good night. Okay. Now, we have to go into our um, Ox Croak, and we have to click Vacuum Wave. We have no other play. Uh, we should live a plus two Vacuum Wave pretty easily at this point. Um, let's double check. Tox Croak Vacuum Wave only does about 30%, so that's obviously super clutch for us. And we're just going to click Vacuum Wave. And we can save this thing for later as well. So that's nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So he's going to vacuum wave himself. This is a lot of freaking damage. Um, as we're going to vacuum wave. Sweet. Down it goes. I do want to keep Top Stroke around. Potentially, I know we're very, 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 very weakened. And we have shown to be special. So I do really want to bluff that on the Dragapult. Um, because if we can, if he goes Dragon Bolt right here, oh, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Apologies if you hear the dogs barking in the background. Of course they are right now. Hmm. Let's see. So we got rid of the Lucario, which was a huge, 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 huge threat. We got rid of the Ferrothorn. Out comes Quag. And I feel like that is actual quag. Hmm. No, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a middle ground play. It's not gonna scald. I'm gonna make a middle ground play and I'm gonna go so volley. I actually wasn't paying attention to the uh I guess the rocks numbers, but I can't tell from here. I guess quag, I think this is or this might be Zor. And I feel like I might click sludge one this time. Ice beam? So that is going to be quag. Nothing. Okay, that's nice. And I'm just going to U-turn. He could stay in, but he also could uh, scout for a potential grass pledge. Which is definitely a very likely thing. to potentially come out against him. And I think that's nice. So he's going to stay in. That's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to scout and see exactly what he was. Based on that U-turn damage. Let's see. I do want to calc in between turns, because obviously that is beneficial. Let's see. Quag Zion. Um, U-turn at 12.50. So that makes me think he's um, spadef, potentially. Very interesting. Um, part of me... No, I can't go Reuniclus yet. I need to make a safe play and kind of pivot around this thing. I'm going to go Clefairy. Because in theory, this thing should never be able to, uh, you know, really scare me. I don't want to go Reuniclus and, uh, there's a, yeah. 
So there's a yawn. Um, so this is definitely Spadef Quack as well. Which is good to know. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to go right out into our um, Savali Normal. I know this sucks because we're taking Rock's Chip and it's super annoying the fact that we're taking this. Um, but not the biggest deal in the world. We should be able to bounce him. So I know he's Spadef. Which means multi-attack has a chance to hit KO from here. So he's going to switch himself. And just Sylveon. And unfortunately, I don't have the best uh, ways of breaking this thing right now. I really don't. Hmm. What do we have right now? For Sylveon. Not much. I'm just going to stay in multi attack. I just don't have to pivot into this thing right now, unfortunately. So there's a clean to it KO as they hyper voice, and that is not gonna take us out. Okay, awesome. That's great. Okay, multi attack once again, and we might be able to it KO Quag from here if they end up going into that. Go into Quag, go into Quag, go into Quag, go into Quag, go into Quag. Okay. Honestly, God, that's fine. So we're getting rock ship on this thing, which is very important. And what we're going to do is we're going to click crunch. I have to. I got to, got to, got to click crunch. If you try and set up a DD on me, that's also very scary. <laughs> but we'll at least break a potential Culver or, you know, if they try and do that, U turn. It's fine. It's definitely going to take us out. What that does is that obviously, um, and we're not going to be able to get any information from that, but that gives us momentum. And it's going to force another turn of rocks onto Dragapult. Which is obviously super clutch. Hmm. So an endgame is potentially in sight with our Reunibus. Potentially in sight. That's Zorark. Which means I go into my um, Clefairy. I think. We're gonna Moonblast. It catches a potential Quag. Sludge Bomb? Okay. This is annoying because it's um, shipping me down into range of. Uh, now we're gonna be in range of Dragapult. So we're going to knock out the Zork. Um, however, if we can get up a Trick Room with Reuniplus, I think we win the game. And we could still potentially recover up on Quag, actually. Let's see. What fairy? Sylveon's going to come out. Okay, I'm going to recover. I understand that I don't break this Pokemon very well right now. Wait, actually, no, I should, I should freaking calc it. What am I doing? Um, Sylveon. Level 50. Pretty specially defensive. 61. This is a roll. Not a soft boy. This is a roll if they're not invested. Hi, voice. Fuck. Okay, that knocks us out. It's very unfortunate. Um, I do need to see how much, to uh, what do you call it, Reuniclus does to Drag Bolt. If Reuniclus does enough to Drag a Bolt, level 50, okay. So my play right here is to go into Toxicroak, 150% to go into Toxicroak. Because what this does is it baits out a Quagsire, which I can then set up a trigger on and potentially sweep with Ryu. But we need to go into this. And I'm just going to Poison Jab. No reason to overpredict. Literally no reason to overpredict. We'll see. 
It's a very close end game. It's a very good game. Uh, so withdraw. Quagsire. It's fine. This thing is especially defensive, which is a little bit annoying. However, this might give us the position that we need. And a focus splash. And a focus splash. Dragon Bolt, if it's um, Modest Shower Bolt and it is not Specs too. We're gonna hit. Awesome. So Yawn's gonna come out. Fine. And honestly, part of me really wants to poison jab. Because then I can go hard into Reuniclus, even if I don't kill this and I don't get the aggressive play correct. I think that's my play. And this also um, serves as sleep fodder. We're just trying to position ourselves correctly. So we knock him out. That's awesome. That's on one HP. That's so annoying. Okay. Dragon Bolt's gonna come out. It's definitely in range, even if it's max HP of a Shadow Ball. Definitely in range. So we're gonna stay fast asleep. I don't think you're DD U turn. Are you fucking kidding me? It's DD U turn. Okay, well, we lose. Um, DD U turn. Got some. Man, that's something. Okay. Um, I think we lose, unfortunately. We're not gonna wake up. So the dragon darts. Can we live? Dragapult. It's not life orb. It's plus one. Three and a plus at level fifty. We can live a dragon darts. Hold on a minute. So he obviously can be Phantom Force. D duh. He can, he can definitely be Phantom Force. But we can live a Dragon Dart from here. And our play... Let's go for Trick Room. Okay. I know our play. I know our play. Hold on. So we set up Trick Room. Hold on a second. Is there, is, there might be a shot. We're gonna get into Zerud. Band of Force, okay. I'm gonna click Darkest Lariat. Don't be freaking Culver. Please do not be Colbert. Hold on. So we obviously underspeed this. Sylveon will die on the switch in. Like 100%. Don't be Colbert. <sighs> okay. Do we knock it out though? It is very low. We're life orb? Let's go! Okay. I need to, this is also a very important turn. It's also a very important turn. So obviously Sylveon knocks us out. I need to check how many turns of Trick Room we have left. So this turn of Trick, okay. So our play 
Let's see. To max physically defensive. 252. Bold. It's a roll. It's a roll. It's a roll. It's a roll. No, it's not. They're at they're at twenty five. Yeah, they're above it. I need to hit this power web if they wish. Okay. No, I think I win. I think I win. I think I win. I have one more turn to trick them. I think I win. Do I win? Even if it is max specially defensive. Even if it is max special defense. With my Reuniclus, I do enough damage. We go into Reuniclus, we click Psychic, and do we clutch a 1-0 victory? Come on, give it to me. I need this. That is definitely at 32%. Below 32%. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me, please. Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> We're going to pick up a nice 1-0 victory against Magnitude here. Great game to him. That was terrifying. Oh my god, I'm about to, Ugh. Ugh. I haven't eaten yet, and I'm really tired, and I feel like I'm about to throw up after the game. Good lord, GG him. Definitely go check out his site. That was an amazing game. I had so much fun. Especially because we ended up winning the game. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new here, be sure to drop a sub and all that good stuff. Yeah, and now with, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.